Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Brew Log. Before we get into the main body of the episode, I wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a, a collection of cellared beer. So, what is cellared beer? Well, I looked it up and uh, so that I could explain it a little bit better to you. And I found an article on uh, vinepair.com, and they simply say, Beer, like wine, can be aged. In some cases, beer cellaring, as it's commonly called, can improve or otherwise dramatically change your beer. Everything from the recipe of the beer itself to the conditions in which the liquor or liquid is stored come into play. Beer cellaring has two basic needs, cold and dark. So basically, what cellaring is, is you're keeping the beer in a controlled, or as controlled as you possibly can, environment. Um, you're keeping it out of sunlight, and um, yeah, you're, that's all you're doing, is you're keeping it. Um, the episode uh, that is coming up is of Mocha Noir, and that beer has been cellared for about a year. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the episode, and uh, let's get into it. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Brew Log. As you can see, I'm in a different location. And the uh, reason for that is because it gets cold out in my shop, and uh, it's fall. And, well, I'm kind of a pansy. <laughs> so tonight we're going to be drinking a brew from uh, Prairie Artisan Ales. Uh, that brew is Mocha Noir. And uh, yeah, so it is a uh, it is a stout, an imperial uh, double coffee stout to to be precise. Um, and yeah, let's get into uh, talking about the brewery and talking about the beer. And I'll pour it into a glass, and then we'll try it. So a little bit about Prairie Artisanal. Uh, Prairie Artisanal Ales is a small third wave brewery from Oklahoma. Since our founding in 2012, we have brought a unique perspective to brewing. Sometimes that means big bold barrel aged stouts, and other times it means super crisp and funky farmhouse ales. Every beer we brew is wrapped in unique, expressive, and interesting art. The experience is unlike any other you can find in beer. Rate beer top 100 brewer in the world. So, uh, on, per, on their website, uh, they didn't have a whole heck of a lot um, about themselves, and I couldn't find actual um, Mocha Noir, and that's probably because I actually have had Mocha Noir in my refrigerator for a uh, right around a year, um, or at least coming up on a year. I figured, well, I'll read you a little bit from uh, Untapped here, and then... Um, We'll talk a, a little bit about uh, Mocha Noir uh, from what I could find on Untapped as well. Welcome to the world of Prairie Artisan Ales, a company started by two brothers. We didn't start it due to a lack of good beer or whatever people like to say in this part of their website. We wanted to do something that was awesome. We have the talent and most importantly, the years of experience needed to get it done. So we did it. We have found the company, oh sorry, we have funded the company on our own and only want to work with people that care about beer, super good beer. Our goal is to show people what it is, what is possible when you start with step one. So again, they are located in uh, Krebs, Oklahoma here. And uh, that was called Prairie Artisan Ales. Uh, if you go back over to their website, um, it's pretty simple to see that uh, it's just prairieales.com. So I'll move that back up here. There we go. A little bit about Mocha Noir. Uh, like I said, it is a stout imperial double coffee. Uh, bourbon barrel aged stout with coffee and natural flavors. Now, if I read the bottle, it doesn't say any more than that. So um, it, it's a real short, sweet explanation of, um, of Mocha Noir there. 
So let's crack into this and uh, let's get to trying it. Good to the last drop. There we go. All right. So there's the color on that. It is very coffee-esque. Uh, the, the minimal head that's on here, um, it almost looks like um, the, the foam that you would get um, if you like just put a little bit of creamer into uh, coffee. Ooh, okay, so the nose on this is very sweet. Um, very chocolatey. Uh, I also pull the uh, the barrel out of this. Um, so I'm smelling that bourbon, um, that barrel aged kind of smell. And, um, oh, oh, I forgot to mention. So this is a 14.2% ABV. This is a double digit ABV. It is, yeah, <laughs> it's up there. Mm. So uh, one of the reasons I wanted to say why I saved Mocha Noir for a year is because I wanted to try my hand at cellaring, um, which is basically where you store beer um, out of sunlight in a controlled temperature um, or as controlled as you can possibly do. And, um, yeah, it just, uh, I can't scientifically explain to you what it does to the beer, but it does bring out, uh, different qualities in, uh, different beers. So, yeah, this being already barrel aged, mm, I had, um, yeah, it definitely, because of the ABVs, it has a little bit of the scent of, um, of uh, alcohol, uh, of the bourbon, um, kind of that alcohol bourbon smell, uh, spirit smell. Mm. Yes. So, with that being said, I raise my glass and I cheers to the brew venture of finding new brews, to good friends, and to easing the stresses of life away. Cheers, everyone. Let's give it a drink. Oh, wow. That's really, really smooth, um, fairly sweet. So even though it is a coffee stout, the sweetness that is uh, trapped within this beer really kind of mellows out the, that bold coffee, roasted, dark flavor profiles. It is, um, I, I would say that this is more along the lines of a dessert beer just because of its sweetness level. And um, if I swirl it here and then I bring it up to the camera, let's see. You can kind of see just how much sugar is really there. See how it's just kind of slowly sliding off the edge of the glass there. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty sugary. I wouldn't say it's overly sweet, but it is quite sweet and pretty dang delicious. Now, even though it is a high ABV at 14.2, it doesn't taste high in the ABV. So I get those nice bourbon barrel um, kind of... Um, if you know if if you know anything about bourbon barrels, or if you have seen the inside of a bourbon bourbon barrel, you know that they're charred. So, I get a little bit of a charred bourbon barrel taste, um, but it's not off-putting. It is very very nice. Uh, mixes extremely well with the sugars and the stout qualities that come in. Uh, you know, a stout's standalone flavor profiles and it's yeah that's just that is a phenomenal um all around awesome uh stout and uh craft beer so yeah 
Another awesome dark ale. <laughs> As always, I'm a sucker for a stout. So with that all being said, I will leave you with my uh, typical sign off. Stay safe out there, support your independent craft brewers, and I'll see you for another episode of The Brew Log. Please like and subscribe, and if you'd like to leave a comment, put it down below. I'll try and get back to you, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>